18, then they get blocked until they turn 18. You know, I've already had to do that once, and I will do it again and again. If you are under the age of 18, and I find out, your ass is blocked. Simple. That's the best I can do on my part. I can only do so much. Like I said, it comes down to the parents and what they do. Uh, but yeah. That little rant aside. In all honesty, though, like, seriously, the way to get around that is just not saying your age. Or, you know, just not watching my content. <laughs> But I can't sit here. Here's the thing. You tell a teenager not to do something, they're gonna fucking do it. In fact, they're gonna really do it out of spite because you literally told them not to. I've had that run in with teenagers. I worked in the fast food industry. Half my half my co-workers were under the age of 18. Oh my god, there's still that, there's still one incident that I'd still... Ugh, every time it gets brought up around me, I get so mad. Or every time something happens that reminds me of it. Oh my god, I get so mad. So, fuck. I was 21 at the time. This was when I first, this was my first summer working there. And this guy who was my age was going through a divorce with his now ex-wife. Uh, she had an affair. And he's like, I'm not doing this. And I supported him. I'm like, okay, this is what you do. You guys don't have any kids. This is going to be a smooth sailing divorce. Just don't fuck her. You don't need to do that. Well, he did, and she got pregnant, so that was fun. Um, and then he turns around and says, Yeah, you know that 16-year-old who works on her overnight shifts? He actually said her name. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know a 16-year-old that works with us on night shifts? She's really cute. I kind of have a crush on her. And I looked him dead in the eye and said, Don't. No, that is a child. Do not do that. And then she is talking to me. She's like, I kind of have a crush on him. So these two had a crush on each other. And I looked at her and I said the same thing. It's like, dude, he's an adult. Don't do it. Do not date him. Well, they ended up dating. As far as I'm aware, they're still dating. She's now 18 or 19, some shit like that. <sighs> yeah, no, like, I, I was very vocal about that one. I literally looked at both of them. I'm like, no, this is illegal. And they're like, it's hey, just, just a number. And I'm just sitting there like, bruh, <laughs> bruh, so is a prison sentence. It's like, yeah, and a jail sentence is just a number two, apparently. Mind you, this fucker was on probation. Age is a number, and jail sentence is a collection of words, apparently. God damn. Yeah, no, he, <laughs> we had a falling out. I'll, I'll tell you that. The guy who was the same age as me, we were both 21 at the time. Uh, we kind of had a bit of a falling out after I called him a pedophile to his face. It's like, you're, you're turning a 16-year-old into the other woman because he had yet to tell his wife that he wanted a divorce. So he started cheating on her with a 16-year-old. He's like, it's not cheating. I didn't have sex with her. I was like, well, congratulations. You don't have to worry about her parents pressing charges then. Uh, but that's still cheating. You literally made a 16-year-old a child into the other woman. Uh, she's actually really mature. Don't call her a child. You are a fucking groomer. That was pretty much the end of it between us. Uh, age is just a number and prison sentence is a Jumble of words, apparently. Ugh. I can't. I fucking can't! Ugh! Listen, listen. You know when age becomes a number? When you're 25. <laughs> That's when age is a number. <laughs> when you're 25, age is a number. Because even when you're 18 to 24, you're fucking pushing it going past four years. Three to four years. Here's the thing. 18, 19, 20, do yourself a favor. Don't go past three years for an age difference. Okay, I made the mistake of doing half a decade at the age of 19. I got sexually abused. I was verbally, sexually, somehow not physically abused by a man half a decade older than me. He took advantage of my youth. He took advantage of the fact that I was young and didn't realize this fucker was a bum. All the red flags looked like normal colors. When you look at the world through rose-tinted goggles, which somehow I still was at the time, despite the life I had, all the red flags just looked like normal flags. Anyone who's ever seen BoJack Horseman, uh, Wanda and BoJack, 
That was my relationship with my ex-husband. That's what that was. Like, taking advantage of youth and being an emotionally abusive piece of shit. Just add in anal rape and that's my ex. It was pretty bad. And that was like three and a half years of my life. So, yeah, no. Just save yourself the trouble. Uh, when you get to like 23, 24, you can wiggle it a bit. You could probably get away with it. You've lived longer. You know the world a bit better. You could probably start pushing your way up to half a decade. After you're 25, fuck it, I don't care if you're 20 years apart. Good for you. You're going for what you want. Personally, I don't see the term trophy wife as a dirty word, especially past the age of 25. I don't give a fuck. You want to be a trophy wife? Good for you. You live your life and you be happy. Just keep your life healthy. Like, yeah. That, I, I, yeah. I don't think there's any other way to put it, you know? Once you hit the age of 25, you've lived. You've known people, you've lived life, you've kind of learned some lessons. Before the age of 25, just keep it close. To, keep it close to your age. I mean, hell, I don't even recommend getting married until you're 25. Again, you've known more people, you've lived longer. Your brain has finished developing completely. You know, up until the age of 25, your brain is constantly molding and... You know, taking in more experiences and energy and all that. Once you get 25, honestly, your body just slowly dies every day after that. Uh, so yeah. The whole concept of living your whole life before the age of 25 is stupid and needs to just not be a thing anymore. Like, it was one thing when the life expectancy was lower. But guess what? People live to be 100. Fucking Betty White almost was a hundred. Almost. We got cock blocked. How dare you? Not by Betty White. Betty White did not cock block us. Betty White was the best. No, fucking Thanatos. I'm gonna have a talk with that little bitch. How dare you cock block us from celebrating a hundred years with Betty White, you bitch! Yeah. You know, honestly, I remember. Damn. Nice. Yeah, no, for the longest time, I thought my great-grandparents were going to outlive Betty White. Like, my uh, my great-grandma specifically on my dad's side. That <laughs> woman. She had so many fucking heart surgeries. Like, if she had a punch card with that damn hospital, she would have gotten at least two free ones, you know? Like, that woman had bypasses done on our bypasses. It was insane. Like, uh, there was the joke in our family, like, okay, we gotta make sure this world is left in good condition for Betty White and our great-grandparents. <laughs> Great grandma and great grandpa. <laughs> uh, those are the days. No, my great grandparents. Um, my great grandma ended up going. Uh, I think I think it did end up being her heart that took her. Um, she went on hospice, and within a couple months of her death, my great grandpa followed with. It was like one of those where like the couple had been together so long that their deaths were so close. Within a couple months of each other. I've heard so many things about that. Like, a couple is together so long that they die within a couple months. I've heard of one story. There was one story I heard where an elderly couple, they were, like, within minutes of each other, passing away. Like, she passed away on the hospital bed and he laid his head down on her, holding her hand, and passed away with her. It's insane. Oh, yeah, no, it really is. Oh, especially when you're elderly, but, like, even when you're young, it's insane how easy it can be. Oh, are we, are we doing trauma dumps today? Are we doing Animal Crossing trauma dump edition again? <laughs> ah, the dark conversations. Fucking hypomanic. I'm pretty sure I'm hypomanic right now. God damn it. I don't know, I'll know in a couple days when I look back and be like, ah, yeah. Oh, no, you're all good, honey. You're all good. Like I said, I go from 0 to 10 and 10 to 0. Actually, more like 0 to 100, 100 to 0. That's me in a nutshell.